This week's Nifty Gifties on F5 Live is probably powered by the Microsoft Store. Whether you're looking for a new laptop, a tablet, desperately seeking an Xbox, new games, or a whole lot more, you can get them at the Microsoft Store. And remember that current students, faculty, parents, and active military can save up to 10% off almost anything. And to browse the products and learn about the discount, you can go to f5live.tv slash Microsoft. All right, so... Obviously, we've seen a lot of work in driverless cars, autonomous cars, the whole ecosystem around it over the last couple of years. Uh, there have been some ups. There have been some downs. We obviously, a couple months ago, we had the conversation about the, uh, the Nikola trucks that turned out to have been an absolute lie. Um, we've talked about, you know, some tragedies with the uh, some of the the autopilot on the, the Teslas, but in general, I rode in an autonomous uh, uh, lift during CES, I don't know, when was the last in, per the last in person I was at, 2020? Uh, I got to ride in an autonomous lift, and it seemed pretty solid, but there's one thing that's been consistent across all of them. There's been somebody sitting in the driver's seat with a steering wheel in front of them, ready to take over in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Um, but that is not entirely going to be required. Um, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration uh, has upgraded its guidance or downgraded its guidance, depending on how you look at it, um, to allow vehicles without a steering wheel and pedals, which is something that has obviously never been allowed before because... A human needs a way to interact with and control the vehicle, and that has been the standardized way to do it for a very, very long time. Um, but with uh, level five autonomous vehicles on the horizon, the organization feels that it's a uh, it's an okay time to to make this change. I don't know about that, but it's definitely an interesting first step. There's a lot more to come, right? We've got Oh, you know, states have to approve them for the road. And there's, you know, there's going to be a whole lot more. And level five has to exist in any meaningful way. But it's a first well, step. To be fair, it does exist in some. There are actually a couple areas. Did you know there are a couple areas where it does exist already? Level where five. Where there are driverless cars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meaning no dri no safety human driver. Yes. Um, Waymo in uh i forget what part of arizona uh has been doing this for a few years mm -hmm. where you can get a you can get a a uh driverless like cab that um and they don't have a backup driver in them anymore interesting yeah uh, did you know there's some videos about it you can watch on i've seen on youtube and it's been going on for like two three years now okay uh, but that's the only you know, now if you unfortunately if you were there and you wanted to say book a ride, um, it you have to like reserve it like a year in advance. Oh my goodness! <laughs> not very convenient at this time. I looked it up once. I was like, hey, if I went there, not that I would. Oh, it's in Phoenix. I should okay. say. Uh, oh, and oh, yeah. So Metro Phoenix, and then uh, they're working on to, on bringing it to San Francisco, but yes. Waymo One is what they call it. it's ride hailing, and you can get the car. But I think I saw I looked this up and I was like, you couldn't just easily get it, which to me kind of defeats the purpose because like if there's a waiting list, like it's just a novelty then. Right. Um, yeah, it's a tourist attraction not, uh, or something. But um, but yeah, they have it now, and they there was like a whole document. They have some documentaries about it on YouTube and. Like on the one hand, when you say, well, actually, when we say it's level five, I should say there's no driver in the car, but all the cars are being kind of monitored okay. remotely by people in a data center or whatever. So, I mean, I don't think they're manually controlling them. I don't think it's like remote control, but they can, I don't know, override it or something. Okay. So... So there is that. And then there's the Domino's thing where they have the Domino's deliveries uh, that are by Neuro that are um, 
completely driverless. I think okay. that's in Houston. Yeah. There's a couple of weird things in Houston. Um, on, on the GNC Week in Review show, we talked about uh, autonomous deliveries via drone being tested. And I was like, of all the places to test that, the city where it's almost certain to be shot out of the sky doesn't seem like the <laughs> place to do it. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's almost. Or, I mean, <laughs> the, I don't know if there's that. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, the so I mean, we are seeing some steps in this direction. Obviously, yeah. it's this is a, a a positive step that they're going this route. I mean, yeah, I think the Waymo cars that they have still have the steer, even though no one is is driving it they still have the steering wheel on the brakes of course that i think think, they're i think think they're i think they wouldn't be allowed to until now i don't think they could do it i think they had to have the steering wheel and pedals uh until this regulation happened like thursday (laughs) although the neuro thing might not have had them but i don't know does it matter does it matter if there's no person in the car like because the neuro one there's no person Nobody yes. rides in it; just pizza rides in it. That that so makes it a different type of vehicle, and it's regulated differently. Yeah, I mean, I I'm I'm a fan of the idea, right? Mm-hmm. Um, of of self driving cars. It's I know people like to feel in control. I know a lot of people are like, I'll never go in a self driving car. I don't trust it. Um, I don't I don't know. I mean, I there's so many so much else that goes. The main thing I'm concerned about with self-driving cars, what a lot of people is, is uh, are concerned about, is how does self how are self-driving cars going to interact with the horrible human drivers that are on the road? That are <laughs> right? Yeah. Like if right. every car was a self-driving car, I think every I think we'd be in fantastic shape. But but you know you've got crazy people on the road trying to like race and all that stuff. I mean. The thing yeah. that I named you, the Waymo, is does not go on a highway. It's local roads, right? Gotcha. So, I mean, I don't think it goes on any even any local highways. So, local you know, roads so, can be dangerous too. In fairness, yes, yes, this is true. But I, I don't know. I'm just used to. I don't know if people are better drivers in Florida, but like here, here in New York, we see people every time we're on the highway. We see people like cut three lanes over and weave in and out and all that crazy stuff. And I can't imagine what a self-driving car would think about that. I'm sorry. I need to. I need to make sure that I heard you right. You just. You just asked if drivers are better in Florida. <laughs> I didn't think so, but you know, I haven't. I haven't witnessed a driving there in a while. It's been a while. No, uh, and I our, have witnessed driving our problem, here. And it's pretty terrible. See, our problem here is that we have your drivers trying to drive on the same road as. The drivers from California and who drive differently and when they start interacting on the road, ooh, chaos ensues. Yes. So, you know, I th- that's I think that's a, a, con- a concern, but drivers I, are horrible think, here from chat. <laughs> but indeed. I I I for one I don't like I like I don't like to drive. Like I like to go places. Mm-hmm. I like the freedom of having a car, but the actual act of driving is, is it's work. It's yeah. like, it's, it's, it's work. It's, I'd rather be doing something else with that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's stressful. I mean, I would, I would so much rather that like, I could just sit in the car and like, read a phone or play a video game or whatever while the car is going somewhere. Yep. You know, so that, I mean, that, I I think that would be, I think that would be lovely. And then you have a whole bunch of people who are really shouldn't be driving, you know, older folks who really can't drive anymore. True. Um, Folks who are maybe inebriated. Uh, I mean, one, one interesting question I have, and I don't think, anyone really has an answer right now is would you trust the self-driving car to take your kids somewhere by themselves uh and so, by, i don't mean like young young kids but i mean right. would you trust it to take like your 10 year old to soccer practice right 
And so one of the uh, one of the topics that that came up in our sumo office many years ago uh, was was around safety, and uh, you know the idea that it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect to be acceptable. It just has to be better than people. Uh, yes, and- but the minute that the minute that someone dies in one, and I like that there's some serious accident in one. Then it then people are going to say, oh, this is terrible. Mm-hmm. Even though the co- comparison, it may not be a fair comparison because the amount of it's just like how many people die in plane crashes versus car crashes. It's right. It's so much more in favor of car crashes. Right. But the any time of uh, one plane crashes, people say, oh man, I'm so afraid to fly. So <laughs> international I think news the publicity. I think the publicity around yeah. I think I there mean, had to be so cautious because of the publicity. Yeah, look at what happened at CES, right? There was the there was the the car a couple years ago that hit somebody out in front of North Hall, um, under under the little overpass there to what is now the West Hall. Um, mm-hmm. That I mean, that made international news. The person, I don't, right. if I remember correctly, the person wasn't even seriously injured. And that made international news, partially because it happened at CES. And that was, you know, right. sensational and, and fun for the, the writers. But, I mean, that was that was everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, they have to be really careful just because of all this negative publicity right. and all the potential of negative publicity. It's really hard. Like, you can see how negative publicity can kind of sink sink a whole category. I mean... You you could argue, you could well argue that augmented reality uh, glasses were sunk by Google Glass. Yeah. Right. I mean, they were sunk by I don't know some people being jerky about it and a picture of Robert Scoble in the shower wearing it and uh, and 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 all that stuff. Thanks. Uh, I had forgotten about that. Thanks. Right. (laughs) Right. They were they were sunk. They were sunk by that, so mm-hmm. I can totally understand why uh, they're being. They've been super cautious about this, yeah. And why people why, are super. Why Microsoft about it. has focused on on the the business side of things and not the consumer side of things, stuff like that. Yeah, it all makes sense. You mean like you mean like shipping? You mean like trucks and things like that? I mean with like with the Hololens, they haven't focused on trying oh, to make oh, yes, a consumer sorry, version of it. About cars. But we were talking about well, like talking augmented about reality again. Okay, yeah. I thought. We're, yeah. But like with yeah. augmented reality, we were talking about it with it, yeah. AR. Yeah. You know, Microsoft has could make a consumer version of it, but they haven't because they don't want the uh, they don't want a nickname like Google Glass got. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like there's ways around that, but yeah, yeah. it's it's hard it's hard to say, but. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be the car company, the company behind the self-driving car that 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 gets in a crash and kills someone or runs somebody right. over, uh, or or anything like that. On the other hand, like I really hope we'll get to a point where people will say like, "Hey, this is infinitely safer than people driving cars." But I don't know when that point will right. be because we still haven't seen them on the highway. In you know seriously difficult traffic conditions, and uh, I think another interesting question is, what will this do to car ownership? Like every instance I right. see, I've seen of this is people using it for ride hailing services. But if you if you really wanted to replace human drivers, you would need to create a scenario where people could uh, people could own a self driving car. Uh, or or rent one or something because there's just it's it, I, I it's just you can't have a such right now you can't have a situation where people cannot have have a car because there are things you need to keep in your car like if you have kids you need a car seat you need to keep the diapers you need whatever so to right, just do everything right. through through ride hailing to go everywhere is just not is not practical right yeah totally agree it's definitely going to be uh interesting right now that now that you know the federal government thinks that we're at a point where this is that this is uh, acceptable to consider um and to to put the first step of this 
uh, at the federal level now to move it uh, to the states. Now the states have to also individually, you know, accept this guidance uh, and make it okay for them to be on the streets. But, you know, it's it's step one, um, which means that at some point we will get to see these things. So, uh, obviously, what kind of timeline are we looking for? I don't know. But... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's, it's step one, and uh, we'll see how long it takes. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below, and of course hit the notification bell, because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, if you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.